wisdom. People fail to understand. All, not all politicians are leaders and mostly actors, and hence we are in big economic struggle now. What is your opinion? How to change that? Decentralize. Hold them accountable. Hold them accountable for their crimes. We haven't held anyone accountable for our crimes, Western crimes. And you know what it really happened? When that piece of shit Obama came on TV, and an interview, this is this is really when it happened, right? Accountability went down the toilet, right? Obama came on TV, and he and he and he said this: "We tortured some folk. Let's move along. Don't dwell in the past. Look towards the future. We tortured some folks. You motherfuckers, you tortured children. You fucks." You tortured children. And you come on TV and say, Move along. It's okay. We tortured some children. That's okay. Right? And people in the West were like, Okay, let's move along. Because Obama, the first black president, told us it's okay. We have a black president telling us it's okay to torture children. We should just move along. Right? That's the same piece of shit, Obama, that assassinated two American citizens in Yemen by drone killing them, right? One of the biggest mistakes the United States ever did in regarding foreign policy. You had Yemenis that were murdered by American missiles coming to the United States saying, look, man, we're peaceful people. Just leave us alone. Don't fucking kill us. Okay, we're poor. There's a lot of people starving. That, like, we don't have much. But please, don't kill us. Okay, stop killing us, you fucks. She, the person didn't say that. I'm adding you fucks. <laughs> he turned to the Americans, begged, went in front of Congress, and said, "Look, you guys killed half my family. Please stop killing us. We want to live in peace." The United States fucking. They turn around and said, look at these weak-ass motherfucker Yemenis, right? Let's arm the shit out of Saudi Arabia and start a war with them, all right? Let's kill more Yemenis. Right? Well, guess what? Just because someone's being kind and asking you kindly not to hurt them, not to kill their family, that's not a sign of weakness. That's a sign of humanity in them, that they're willing to forgive you as long as you stop committing crimes against them the west didn't stop committing crimes against them so what happened in yemen you got one of the most fucking powerful armies in the middle east taking on israel united states and the uk doing what is morally right right now while there's a genocide being committed by israelis on palestinians where the moral fabric structure of the western world has completely crumbled the West is complicit in committing genocide. Not only complicit, they are assisting Israel in committing genocide. And who stands on the right side of history? Who has moral authority? The people that the West was murdering, starting started with Obama, murdering for 10 years. The Yemenis, right? They're the ones on the right side of history. They have moral high standing we in the west we're fucking cowards man we're fucking assisting our governments to commit genocide not all but many right we need to hold our bureaucrats our politicians our civil servants accountable for their crimes if we don't it's going to get worse and worse for us okay if there is no accountability there is nothing 